Bienvenue to... Oh hey, I'm Neil, and you're here to learn how you too can pull to fine tail. That's not right, is it? What is it? Oh, and you're here to learn how you too can pick up chicks. Now, I'm often asked, hey Neil, how do you pull such fine tail? I say, hey, I got strong hands. Ha, huh. that was a joke. Anyway, so in my 18 step program, I'll teach you how you too can pull a fine chick. To stay tuned, sit back and relax and take notes. So, 10 second rule. You know, so if you're going around, you're at the mall or something, and you drop your ice cream on the floor and you can't quite scoop it up within 10 seconds, leave it alone. Chicks don't like a grub. What do you mean that's not the 10 second rule? Oh. Okay, apparently you got 10 seconds to approach a chick and get your point across. Oh, your time's up. You sure about that? Okay, just like me, you gotta keep it cool. So, what does that mean? Well, you don't wanna go approaching a chick and being all nervous. So, what you wanna do, take a deep breath in. <sighs> yeah. And calm down, keep it cool. Yeah, I know we got that room right. I know we got that one right. All right, this next step is about han handling rejection. What do you mean handling rejection? I don't get rejected. You get rejected. All right. So apparently, some people believe it's a numbers game, and you're going to have to learn how to take, take no for an answer. Shut up. You don't take no for an answer. You just keep on going until you win. You got that? I'm telling my way. Hand rejection. All right, now body language. That's very important. So when you go and approach a hot chick, you don't want to be all slouched over and and with lack of confidence. So why do you do? Well, simple. You've been probably getting told this since you were a child. Pull your shoulders back, puff your chest, sit up straight or stand up straight, whatever the situation is. You're going to present yourself in a very manly manner that has some testosterone in your balls. You got that? Don't puss out. What do you mean I can't see puss out? But some people believe that pussies are tough. Okay, I'm dumb about it. Apparently I can't see puss out. So disregard, you're gonna, you're gonna cut this stuff that makes me look like a dumbass, right? All right, doesn't matter what I said. All right, next step. All right, next step. You wanna keep it moving. Now, what you absolutely don't want is the chick to have the power in this situation. See, if that means you gotta keep driving the force. So once you've approached, you don't give her a chance to talk back. You just hound her with compliments, and gestures, and you're gonna win and get that number off that chick. You don't give it time to think and realize just how much of a loser you are. I don't have that problem, but I'm sure you do because you're watching this video. What? What do you mean I'm gonna segregate my audience? I can't call them losers? Isn't that the point of them watching this video? Yeah, apparently I'm sorry, because you're not uh, quote unquote losers. You're real champions in my eyes. Is that right? Okay, whatever number this is, not noticing the attraction. So you gotta sit back and observe your situation and see if the girl is looking at you. Now, if she's not looking at you and showing any kind of sexual desire. That's your job to turn that into sexual desire. So, what you need to do is you need to show off your assets. And if you don't got any assets, get your ass to the gym and make some assets. 
whether that be your ass. Got that? Now, when you got some assets, you put it right in her face so she can see it. And that's gonna get her attention. What do you mean that's a bad lie? Does it work if I just go up to a chick and say she's the prettiest in the bar? Oh. I guess that makes sense. But not everyone has the stigmatism that I do. Right. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. So, apparently, you don't want to use such lines such as, you're the prettiest girl in this bar. That's oversaturated and no good for you. It may be good for me, but it's no good for you. So, you got to be a little more creative on that. And that brings us to our next step. Observe, share, and ask. What does that mean? Well, you're going to sit back and you're going to stalk that prey. You're going to be watching closely. You're going to find anything that makes that chick different to all the others. Then, you're going to approach her and you're going to share your discovery. So, such an example. Wow, I noticed you got cankles. Hey, but hey, I'm a personal trainer. So, would you like some help with those? Now, see what I did there? I observed that this fine lady had some cankles. I shared that I'm a personal trainer and that I can help her with those. And three, I asked if she would like my assistance, therefore engaging in conversation. You got it? Observe, share, and ask. Very important step. So as I explained in the last part with your observation, you want to come up with something that's unique to that woman. Now, you can't just go something like, wow, you got big boobs. Because, well, hey, a lot of girls have big boobs, and that doesn't make them feel special. You want to come up with something nice and unique. Like, hey, I noticed you haven't got any hairy knuckles. I like that in a woman. That's the way you're going to get some attention. So another important step. Don't go to a woman and say, Hi, my name is Neil. Because my name is Neil, not yours, and you look dumb. What do you mean that's not what I mean? I don't, I don't use their name. Why wouldn't they use their name? That's stupid. Okay, so apparently, it's not about my name, it's not about your name. You don't want to do... You don't want to use the name to start up a conversation because they don't know who you are. That's like making YouTube videos. No one knows to look for you because you're a oh, that's right. I can't call you a loser. So, you want to find another way to approach and not start with your name. That's the important part out of this step. You got that? All right, so... The theme going on here is you got to be creative and you don't want to use the same line that every other guy's using. So you got to be thinking about that, right? So, you know, there's a million pickup lines out there and you got to really approach the situation and observe your target there when you're coming up with that. So be creative, right? And think, use your brain. I'm sure that's all you got though, right? But, okay, there is one line that I'm aware of that has almost 100% success rate, no matter who you are. You go up to that woman and you go, hi, I got money. But then you stare at her dead in the eyes. You hold contact until she checks out the bulge in one of your pockets. Then you got the hook in. So it's very important that you make a strong first impression. Because you don't want to be leaving this weak impression and they've even given you a real number and when you go and call it or text it, all of a sudden they're busy. So, you want to make sure they remember who you are and that they're impressed with what they got. You got it? Alright, the next step is you want to stick it out when things get awkward. That's right. So, when something starts getting awkward in your first impression of the conversation, just stick it out. You will nullify any awkward situation just like that instantly. You get this what I do? You stick it out. Apparently it means you gotta keep on going through the conversation until you you talk through through the 
through the situation that was awkward. The dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's wrong. No. Okay? You just stick it out. I don't nullify the situation. Shut up. You can stick it out. Alright? It works every time. Alright, now this is a hard one. Good flirting. This is super important if you're going to pick up a chick. You got to have some good flirty tactics. Now, what this means is some strong eye contact. You never break contact with those girls' eyes. And you're going to pretend to take some interest. You're going to keep some solid eye contact. You're going to pretend to take some interest in whatever stuff she's blabbling on about. Okay? Now, a girl loves it when you listen to her. Now, yeah, I did say before, you want to take control of the situation, but there is an exception to the rule. All right? Now, flirting does require that you listen to whatever stuff she jibber jabber is about. All right? Now, this is important, okay? You actually got to listen. You can't just zone out. All right? I know it's hard. Is they're talking about their lipstick and their day and whatnot. Now, you got to listen and actually say, uh-huh, at the right time. You got it? Okay, the next step is pretty simple. You want to look good, okay? Now, I can't help whatever's going on with your face, but I can't help with whatever's going on with your body. Check out some more of the videos on how you can get in shape, all right? Now, on top of that, you can't help your face a little bit. A little bit of advice, you want to keep a trim beard, if you can even grow one. Now, also, you want to work on whatever's going on with your hair. It's got to be somewhat manly and testosterone building, okay? So in this next step, you want to propose an adventure. So when I approach a woman, I go, hey, fine lady, how would you like to go hang gliding? Now, the reason I choose hang gliding is I assume they don't, they don't know what they're doing up there. So they're going to go tandem. And as a certified tandem hang gliding instructor, we're going to be in that little sleeping bag together in a tight quarters. Now, it may start out awkward and terrifying in the situation, but you're up there for a few hours, allowing them to build up some Stockholm Syndrome. And the rest is history. You're going to have them hooked for the rest of your life. What? Well, that's not nearly as good. So apparently, uh, a more sensible suggestion would be something like, Hey, fine lady, would you like to go get a coffee or a sandwich with me at the local bar? That's so weak, man. Huh. Now, finally, to add an 18th step. Now, this is an important one. Negative compliments. So, this is very important to future-proof any su such investments of a fine lady. So, when they're not quite there yet. So, what you want to be doing, something like, oh, hey lady, ah, you know, I'd want to go out with you if you just shaved that upper lip hair of yours. You know, something that breaks the ice, but also shows that you care. You know, it could be like, oh, wow, you know, I would almost like to go out with you if you weren't a redhead. Gee, I like my women with souls. You could approach him and go, wow, I really like your top. My brother has the same kind. Yeah. That breaks down their self-esteem, making it easy for you to swoop on in and take a drill. So, negative compliments, super important. So anyway, thanks for making it to the end. If you need to, go back and re-watch any of the other steps if you haven't quite got them down yet. All right, so... Like, subscribe, and leave some comments. It's because you actually may have something to help someone else. I doubt it, but you just may. All right. Thank you. Watch some other videos that are going to come in the future, okay? Thank you.